Hey guys, Doug Walker here. Welcome to the premiere of Demo Reel. Uh, just wanted to give you a little information about the show and how it's going to work. Uh, unlike Nostalgia Craig, that was every one week. This is going to be every two weeks because it takes a little bit more time because it's more than just a guy in front of a white wall. Uh, so it is going to be every two weeks. However, every other week there's always going to be something Demo Reel related. Whether it be a short or a trailer for the next one, there's always going to be something. So every time you show up on Tuesday on thatguyoftheglasses.com, you're always going to see something related to demo reel. On top of that, like I said before, we have a uh, talk show that's going to be coming out with me. We got uh, game shows. We have all sorts of things coming up for you guys that we're in the process of getting out to you. So stay tuned. A lot more is coming. I hope you enjoy what we got. So Cole, it's been a rough day, hasn't it? Yes, Dr. Bruce Willis. And now you're going to tell me your dirty little secret, aren't you? And what is your dirty little secret? I see dead people walking around like regular people. They don't know they're dead. Oh, that's okay. That's just the 700 Club. No, I mean, I see ghosts. Really? How often? All the time. They're everywhere. There's even one behind you! Ooh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Jesus, it's Beetlejuice. I'm the ghost with the most, baby. <laughs> hey, Casper! Ooh. I'm the friendliest ghost to ever! Eat your soul! Ah, uh, for devil do, I'm not talking to you. Oh my god, Ghost Dad. That's right. Now, I will buy a jello pudding pop from the fiery depths of hell. He's terrifying! What are we gonna do? The only thing we can do. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Who are you? Ghostbusters! Chicago Division. But we're in Philadelphia. We're branching out. All right, Ghost, prepare to die. Again. You can't do this to me. I gave you Malcolm Jamal Ward. Fire! <laughs> believe it or not, was not The Sixth Sense. I know, it felt like the movie, looked like the movie, maybe even a little better than you remember it. But in fact, this was a film brought to you by our online production team, Demo Reel. What is Demo Reel? Well, how do I put it? You got movies, old and new, low budget and big budget, appealing to all sorts of different audiences. And as great as all these movies are, in all humbleness, we can do it better. And I don't think I'm being too selfish when I say that. We have perfected what many consider to already be perfect and made it even more perfect be perfect. Yes. We vow to show what our cinematic skills are capable of, and there is no doubt that we have quite a wide range of talent, including directors, actresses, directors, Writers, directors, cinematographers, directors, caterers, and writer, cinematographer, director, actress, caterers. Our goal? To reach an audience so large that Hollywood would have no choice but to offer us a chance to make our very own motion picture. We even send our motion pictures to the original filmmakers themselves. <laughs> In fact, famed director M. Night Shyamalan once said of our work, I thought my twists were bad. You see, even he had to acknowledge that our work was so good that his was inferior by comparison. With Rebecca Stone, Tacoma Narrows, Carl Copenhagen, and the rest, we want to make our incredibly humble goal of fame, fortune, and riches beyond our wildest dreams come true. For you! Demo Reel. We don't make films, we remake them. God.
Alright, now Sixth Sense seemed to go over really well online. In fact, a lot of people said it was our best work to date. I know! Did you see that one comment? What the hell did I just watch? People are speechless. We're leaving them asking questions. Important questions, like, what the hell did I just watch? Exactly. So I feel for the next one we should do something supernatural. Uh, Tagoma, what do you got? Well, I was thinking, Wuthering Heights. There's a lot of atmosphere as well as ghosts in the movie, and it'll give us a chance to really dive into the psychological. Hey, hey! Or Batman. Oh, Batman would be awesome! Yeah, let, let, let's do Batman. Uh, I don't think Batman is really supernatural. Sure he is. Always flying around, sucking people's blood. That's Dracula. No. No, no, it, it was definitely Batman. Yeah, I remember Francis Ford Coppola talked about it on his commentary. That was also Dracula. It, what is your obsession with Dracula? I don't have an obs... Look, Batman's not a vampire. Are you saying that George Clooney is not a blood-sucking Nosferatu who feeds on the young to keep himself immortal? I cannot argue with that. There you go. Batman. My name is Tacoma Narrows. I am the writer for Demoreal. I came across Donnie, and I thought, what better way to break into the industry? True, a lot of times, uh, he doesn't go with my ideas. In fact, what I originally put down has almost nothing to do with the final product. But that's Donnie's direction, and I respect him as an artist. Hey, this, this isn't what I wrote. Oh, come on, it's better that way! How is it better this way? It's more engaging! William Wallace is supposed to be having an epic battle with the British! Well, now he's having an epic battle with a dragon named Longshanks. What?! We need to go leave with the Neotic AFLIDA! Respect is such a strong word. My name is Rebecca Stone. That's Stone, not Stone A. The accent was silent. Uh, I went to college for acting. Uh, after college, I decided to do my own one-woman show, which was, of course, Hamlet. And I know what you're thinking. How can a woman play Hamlet? Well, I always thought that Hamlet seemed like a woman trapped inside of a man's body. So I decided to play his feminine side. You know that one scene where he's talking to the skull and he's like, oh, poor dead jester guy? I rewrote it a little bit. <laughs> Your bony lips I have kissed, I know not how oft. See? Him kissing a guy suddenly makes sense. It's a lot better than that weird jester boy thing that they were implying. I don't know, Shakespeare's a perv. I'm currently a security guard at a warehouse in the greater Chicago land area. I'm not allowed to say which one, but they have been extremely good to me. One of them said I was a stunod, which I assume is Italian for bright. We have a mutual agreement between us. We film here, and they do whatever they do back there. They don't ask questions, and we don't ask questions. Where's the money, Paulie? Where's the money? I swear I don't know! I swear I don't know! Yes, say goodnight, Paulie. No! No! What do these people do again? Construction. Oh, okay. All right, so you're gonna enter through this way. Right here. So, which of the Batman movies were you thinking about doing? Well, I don't like to think small. Big shock. So, I was thinking about doing the Christopher Nolan movies. Which one? All of them. Uh, how do you do all of the Christopher Nolan movies? Oh no, I see where he's going with this. Like the Adam West Batman movie, where all the villains come together and try to take him out. Exactly, except with more sharks. Wait, let me get this straight. You want me to write a script Combining all the Christopher Nolan movies into one story with all the characters and all the plot twists? Exactly! We can put it all in one movie! Everyone's always like, oh, let's put them in one movie at a time! No, just shove them all together! It'll be great! But most people can't even follow one Christopher Nolan movie without using a flowchart. Don't you think that's going to be a little much? Well, yeah, that's the American way. Too much, too fast. I don't think that's the American way. Sure it is! Come on, ask Carl. He's as American as Uncle Sam. Aren't you, Carl? Yeah, sure. As American as foosball and double strudel. There you go, then. Guten Tag. My name is Karl Copenhagen. Ich bin ein Kameraman. Und das hier ist meine Kamera. Kami. Sag guten Tag, Kami. Guten Tag. Sie ist mein Liebling.
Yeah, Carl's a weird one. I think he's Cajun. Russian, maybe? He's to Germany. He's always talking about before the wall fell. Before the wall fell, I had quite destroyed history. Unfortunately, all of that has been classified. Therefore, I will have to black out certain questions mit mein Schwarzpen. Nein. Nein. I think he said he was in the German Navy. Nein, 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 nein. I think he told me he was working for a lady named Stacy. Stasi, I don't know. They get real names. Ha! Huh. Fair. Look, there's only one more question left. How are you? None of your business. He seems to be really good friends with that other cameraman, Quinn. I think he's Irish. I'm pretty sure he's Cajun too. My assistant is Quinn. He did not work for the IRA, and he will not answer any of your questions. My name is Quinn, and I didn't work for the IRA, and I ain't gonna answer any questions you got for me. He is a good mercenary, is that fair? I mean, cameraman. I am Danny Dupre, the founder and director of Demo Reel. Uh, we don't make a whole lot of money on it. In fact, you could argue we're losing money. But, you know, you make sacrifices for your art, and that's what counts. Outside of this, I do not have a job, uh, which I know is hard to believe. So I rely on my wife's income. And I know what you're thinking. Donnie, how is that fair to you? Well, it's not. I mean, you have no idea the stigma that's placed on stay-at-home husbands who make remakes of films with their best friends. Some might say I'm cheap or uh, dodging responsibility, but I ask you this. What kind of guy wants to set the women's work liberation thingy years back? Not me. I'm doing my wife a favor by allowing her to work, by giving her another spot for a working woman to come in. Now that's a sacrifice. So I'm simply allowing working women the chance to be working women. I'm part of the liberation. I'm there doing it for my sisters. And if you think that's dodging responsibility, well, you're more than welcome to set the women's liberation thingy back several years. So, you're supporting your wife's ability to support you? Oh, now see, you finally get it. All right, so we're on board with the Nolan movies then. Uh, yeah, just one question. Can we go with the Harvey Dent from the first Burton Batman? You know, the one played by Billy D. Williams? I kind of feel like he got the shaft. You know, replacing a charismatic black man with that Texas tool from The Fugitive. Oh, I see. Seeing what would happen if you have Billy D. Williams play Two-Face. Exactly. Okay, alright, I like that. I like that a lot. It's like seeing Lando Calrissian play both the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Lando Calrissian did. Yeah, whatever, just making the mayor of Cloud City. <laughs>
No, it's Mario. Why are you dressed like a Mario brother? Mario scares me. It's time the rest of the world shares my fear. Nobody's friggin' afraid of Mario. Why are you afraid of Mario? He's an Italian plumber who steps on turtles. That's rude. And then he kicks them out of their shell, takes their home, and bludgeons them to death with it? Man's a psychotic. I don't want that person near my toilets. Go try another costume! Fine, fine. I'll find something else that scares me. I am a creature of the night. Waldo? You're afraid of Waldo? Nobody can find him. Even with his red and white striped shirt, he always appears to blend in. Go get another one! God. Okay, who was never afraid of Santa Claus? Next! Ooh, I'm a spooky witch! Next! I'm a banana. Next! I am Spider-Man. Titan. Seriously? Yep. Does he wear red too? Yep. Oh my god, what are the odds of two guys representing a spider with the color red? Go get another one. I mean, seriously, red! Look out, I'm a housing market correction. My increased foreclosure rates among homeowners will lead to a crisis in subprime loans and collateralized debt obligations. You either go and come up with something right now, or I will stab you in the eye. <sighs> well, gee, the only thing left is bats. Bats? See? Now that's something scary. Oh, come on, they're like number 50 on my scary list. Just do it. <sighs> All right, if you think it's scary. Absolutely sure we don't want to go with the plumber. Right. I warned you. Right in the eye. All right, all right, I'll do bats! It's hard playing multiple roles, especially when you're the only female here. Fortunately, my background has prepared me for this. After I did my one-woman Hamlet, I wrote a one-woman Titanic. It's very tricky to do a hot, steamy love scene by yourself. Oh, Rose, you're the most beautiful 17-year-old going on 30 that I've ever seen. Oh, Jack, you're the most beautiful 23-year-old going on 12 on all of steerage. Want to set sail for my pants? Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Oh, Jack! Rose! Jack! Rose! Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Oh, Jack! Oh, I can see your hunger. Oh, Jack! Oh, Jack! Rose! And your Jack. Oh, forest. Jack! Oh, Rose! Jack! Uh, has anyone seen my glove? Batman glove? Yeah, I, I, I got one. I don't have the other one, though. It, is that just... on the couch? I, I don't have my glasses. I have the black glove and the black couch, so that's kind of difficult. Is, it, this, it's it? is this one your glove? I, it looks like yeah, the cat Yeah, glove. yeah, because that looks exactly like the glove. That's the identical. Good, good job. Just good trying job. to help. It, just, wow. I don't even have glasses. I can see it's not the right glove. Okay. I, I do better if I have my thinking hat. Okay. So I had the glove. Okay, screw the thinking hat. This is... Really? Ba Batman can't only have one glove. Why? Because he's freaking Batman! Why would he go around with one glove? What if they could identify his hand? They'd be like, hey, that hand looks very Bruce Wayne-ish. Is there any way we could write around the fact that Batman only has one glove? Who else wears one glove? Michael Jackson? That's true. Michael Jackson. That could be a nice plot twist. And that, that's good because you have one black hand, one white hand, but the black hand is the gloved hand. I have no idea where I'm going with this. This is the stupidest idea. You know what? We're just gonna call him One Glove Batman. That'll definitely stick. Yeah, better than a glove. Bearded One Glove Batman, a new enemy seems to have shown this evil face. Who is that? High Pitch Commissioner Gordon. He's a bank robber dressed in all white makeup, simply known as the Joker. Thoughts? Yeah, I guess you're right. He is just some clown. Wow! We were wrong on that one! Yeah, note to self. Clowns are evil. We must put our trust in Harvey Dent. He's a good politician with a strong personality. How do you know? I saw him threaten one of the Joker's mentally disabled henchmen with a gun and a coin. That sounds like a very mentally unstable person. Oh, he's fine. As long as you don't get anything on his face. Kinda sensitive about that. Hey, Rebecca. Um, can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Well, I, I don't know really how to ask this. Well, what um, is it? Well, 
Um, as a white person, mm -hmm. uh, does this offend you? I mean, am I crossing any boundaries or anything? Because... What do you mean? I, I just feel kind of weird dressing up in white face in front of, uh, in front of a bunch of white people. It's... Look, if it makes you feel any better, we did just cast you as a cream of wheat making servant who always sides with his rich white master no matter how insane he is. You know what, you're right. You crackers had it coming. There you go. You see, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. These good people are only as good as the world wants them to be. As when the chips are down, these civilized people will eat each other. Let's delve into this a little further by examining the works of Friedrich Nietzsche. Wait a minute, why am I chit-chatting with you? You kidnapped two people! Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Where are they? <laughs> you can take nothing away from me. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, I'm making a coffee run. Do you guys want anything? No, I'm good. Do greens do sugars? Where are they? <laughs> it, it's okay. I'll tell you where they are. Both of them. Even though we've clearly established that there's no clocks in here, I'll rig it so that you can only reach one of them in time. How are you so sure only I'll reach one of them in time and not the cops? I saw you had a better GPS. It accounts for traffic and even updates the street names. So, which one are you going for? Rachel. Really? Who cares if the only hope for Gotham is about to be burned? I want Nookie! Well, it looks like this is the end. Don't worry, my dear. I'm a man of few words. But those words oh, will count, and so will our actions. When we kick down the doors and shed the light of the law on that nest of vipers. Is it wrong to say that even though we're about to die, your voice just made me orgasm right now? If it is, I don't want to be right. Batman! What? Oh, for crying out loud! Really? You saved him instead of me? It's not what you think, honey. No, I got it. Clearly, he means more to you than me. No, no, I swear that's not it. Always business first, I understand. Hey, Harvey, you want to know who Batman truly is? You don't hear that. He's very rich, man. No, 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 no. He's probably the only man in Gotham who can afford to be Batman? No, 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 See, his name begins with a B. Oh, for God's sake, where are those cops? How come they never update the street names? Look at this, this used to be 88th and now it's the Reagan Parkway. Isn't there any other landmark that points us in the right direction? Oh, there it is! You know, I'm actually perfect for the role of Catwoman. Because I actually speak cat. Um, for example, um, feed me is <laughs> and uh, uh, let's play. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, don't touch my mouse toy. Mow. Mow. They're very territorial creatures. Um, let's see. What else is there? What's there? Oh, here's um, help, help. You've trapped me in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> How's the hair for you knows that? And here is, oh my god, please take me to the vet right now. What's it all for, Alfred? What's it all for? I mean, I lost Rachel. Maybe I should just hang up the mask and cowl and call it a good run. That's cock and tease bull bollocks. You are Gotham City's destiny. And it's time that you started acting like an adult and dressed up as a bat. But what about Rachel? F*** Rachel. Rachel's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Eleven herbs and spices in the deep fryer. Jesus, Alfred, give me a minute to mourn! You can mourn when you're dead. Now, why don't I cheer you up with one of my horror stories about raping the Burmese jungle in search of the blood diamonds. Well, I guess in the end I can take comfort in the fact that she did truly love me. 
Oh, hey, look at that, a letter from Rachel. Let me see that. <sighs> Dear Bruce, I don't look. Uh, hey, Donnie, uh, I'm a little nervous about my Bane impression. Why is that? Well, I, I don't have the voice down quite right. I mean, I remember even in the movie, even though he had the mask, he somehow projected more than anyone else in the entire film. Okay, no, actually, it's okay. Someone showed me how to do the perfect Bane impression. Really? Who? You know Ian Sinclair? The voice actor? Yeah. Who met Ian Sinclair? No, but I know someone who stalked him. And before they hauled him away in the police car, he told me that Ian Sinclair told him how to do the perfect Bane impression. Well, how? Okay. You start off by doing your Sean Connery. Oh, money, honey, I want to see you naked. Shake it, not sure. All right, all right. Now, you do Sean Connery giving birth to Adam Sandler. Oh, Jimmy, Dobby, Dobby. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, good. Now, you take your hands, you do the Ninja Gaiden thing, and then you just place it over your mouth, and suddenly the fire rises. Oh my god, that's incredible. I know, try it, try it. I am the League of Shadows. Oh, okay, okay, let me try, let me try. I am Gotham's Reckoning. Okay, okay, no, now this is a common mistake. All right, you can't just put it over like this, you have to do the Ninja Gaiden hands. Oh, okay. Try it again. <clears throat> I am Gotham's reckoning. Whoa! Oh my god! I know, right? I know, right? It's incredible. incredible. It's unbelievable. You tell me you like transform. It's something like you're muscle bound and everything. Unbelievable. You should shave your head. Give me a swig of that. Oh, is it a time to terrorize Gotham by feeding them false hopes to poison their souls? It will begin here. This is an Arby's. Of course! Why is it an Arby's? Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly a very secret headquarters. Have you ever eaten at an Arby's? No. Have you? No. Exactly! Nobody has! Who wants to pay five dollars for crappy deli meat in a cafeteria that the 70s forgot? Now, let us prepare for the gathering of all of Gotham's supervillains is about to begin. I'm a crippled man now, Alfred. Beaten and destroyed. But Bane is out there, and I have to stop him. You can't. Why not? What if I told you I had a secret letter from Rachel? A letter that I ate. A letter in which she says she didn't love you. And I've been letting you destroy yourself for these eight years because I thought I was protecting you by letting you pummel supervillains, by dressing up as a bat. I'd say that's the ravings of a mad psychotic. Well, too little, too late. So, do you want me to be Batman, or do you not want me to be Batman? I'm leaving you, Master White. What? Why? I can't watch you throw your life away. But, wait, didn't in a scene earlier you just say, I will never give up on you. And now you're saying, I'm giving up on you, Master White. Is it your time of the month or something, or...? Goodbye, Master Wayne. And I'm keeping the jewelry. Eh, figures he'd leave on laundry day. My supervillain brothers, are you ready? Ra's al Ghul, present. Joker, present. Scarecrow, ready. Ooh, ooh. Stop. Then let the world see what true evil Arby's is capable of. Seriously, could we have just gone to the sewers? Oh, that would be an improvement. But I must admit, their curly fries are curiously tasty. Then you're gonna love my knuckle sandwich. Batman! How did you find me? Using my super duper detective skills, I managed to locate when no other cop could. Uh, by the way, if you need help finding any other supervillains, I'm here. I don't know if you... Anyway... Prepare to die now!
hard to find me, Batman. In fact, it must have been back-breaking work. <laughs> oh, did you see what I did there? I've been sitting on that one for a while. I was going to give this long speech about the shadows betraying you, but uh, you just can't let a perfect zinger like that one go to waste. Uh, oh, well, throw him in that sarlacc pit I crawled out of. Oh, as for the rest of you, prepare yourselves. Our attack will begin as soon as the sun rises. Why then? Because Arby's breakfast sucks. But sir, what about the curly fries? They won't be done for lunch hour. Oh, don't worry. When the special sauce is done and the egg croissants lie in ashes, then you have my permission to fry. That was the stupidest line I've ever- No! What are they arguing about? Apparently we're getting close to the scene where we reveal all the supervillains together, but I guess Tacoma and Donnie have a disagreement about how we're going to do it. Okay. Forget it. Forget it. It's not gonna happen. There's no way it can work. It's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. We're not doing the super villain shuffle! I'm Ra's al Ghul, and I'm here to say No inflection in your voice is A-OK -okay. With the leak of shadows, I'll make Gotham fall I have several identities, all of them dull I am Harvey Dent, and my face is bent My evil motivation makes little sense I was a nice guy, but now I'm deranged Determining my future on the back of change My attitude can turn on the flip of a dime Boy, I tell you, this deal's getting worse all the time I am Dr. Crane, totally insane And I only have a few lines in the movie, so next Now, this is a story all about how my frown got flipped Turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute Don't go too far, I'm gonna tell you a little story About how I got these scars my daddy was a drinker, my wife she liked to gamble My dog's a plastic surgeon, please stop me if I ramble My plans are so detailed it's like I see into the future I'm a ball-busting, fat-bashing, gangster money moocher Word! I quit The reason you shouldn't quit Is because you have so much potential still untapped Potential? How would you know? You never let me write what I want I'm just trying to make both our visions come to life I'll tell you what, if you let me rewrite the ending, I'll come back. Why? What's wrong with my ending? His ending. Batman should not be an alien from the planet Zeiss. All right, all right, all right, all right. How about go along with your ending? Ending. Let's do it. Let's do it. You won't change it or anything? No. All right, let's do it. All right, awesome. Now, first thing we gotta do is just do the climax. Climax. So, this is the world's greatest prison. Yes, my truck friend. Well, there is no prison on the planet that can keep the world's greatest detective. Help me fight off the guards. There's no guards. The world's greatest prison doesn't have any guards? Nope. Okay, well, help me dig a hole. There's already a hole. The world's greatest prison already has a hole in it. Okay, all right. Well, we will be the first to get out of there. Actually, someone already has. A small child. So let me get this straight. The world's greatest prison has no guards, a giant hole in it, was broken out of by a little boy. Little girl? Little girl! And somehow this is supposed to hold me? Kind of. Screw this, I'm getting out of here! Alright, alright, it's just a practice. Say Patsy for a gun. Patsy, 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 Patsy
they're really old. We can get them to say just about anything. Watch. Cardboard! 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 Donnie? Mm. What is this? That's the wig for the uh, little boy singing the national anthem. A wig? Because I don't see hair. It looks like somebody left a swim cap on the stove. Did you know that's how I did it? it, it, it just, it's gonna look great on camera. You're gonna look at it, it's gonna be like, wow, that's a boy! Have you smelled it? I, smell it. it smell it's it. Very nice. <laughs> the bottom line is that you're gonna put it on, it's gonna look great on camera, everyone's gonna be like, wow, that's a little boy! Not that you're not very, very feminine. Okay, look. There is no way I am wearing. Oh, say can you I've got it all wrong. Maybe there is still hope and decency left in the world. And this child, this innocent child, has shown me the way with the voice of an angel. Oh, no, that was dreadful. Oh, well, time to die. someone to save us, right? Of course, my good friends! Unless, of course, for some reason I have to sacrifice myself for the good of the city, giving away who I am, so I totally have to fake my death, in which case you're unbelievably screwed! I'll try not to let that happen! Citizens of Gotham, I have a nuclear thingamabomb that's time to explode in six months. Prepare for the same moral lesson you got about chaos in the previous two movies. I will watch and laugh! And when I've decided you've all hit rock bottom, then I will blow your urban hell back to gold. Why don't you just blow us up now? Because I want to punish you! Just do it already! Yeah, I got stuff to do! Don't you Avenge his death. 
That doesn't make any sense. You want it to make even less sense? I'm also... Rachel Dawes! That's right. You left me to die. Now it's time to return the favor. Well, isn't that a pleasant surprise? For I'm Rachel's twin sister, Raquel Dawes. What? That's right. I was hired to work for Bane, but now my second life is having second thoughts. Well, isn't that quite a turn? Hey, look, it's that third rock from the Sun Kid. That's right. For I'm really Robin. I'm so confused. Does anybody have a flowchart? So, Selena is just one of a thousand clones, Bane is just another one of my multiple personalities, and the mine was the scene of the crime the whole time. I still don't know how Tesla fits into all that. David Bowie was awesome, though. David Bowie was in there? I think you gotta look at it backwards to see it. Oh, yeah, there he is. You know, I think it would have been a lot better if we didn't introduce all the plot twists in the last five minutes. Agreed. Let's just wrap this up. Let's do it! Wait, wait, not the good side. Think! Where'd you? Where'd you? Where'd you? All right, let's get that makeup off you. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Quinn, not again. Batman, the bomb's about to go off. What are we gonna do? I have to sacrifice myself for the good of the city. Yoink. You can't. You've given these people all you have. Not everything. Not yet. Why? Why would you sacrifice yourself? Because you either die a hero, or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I am the hero, not the Gotham deserves, but the one they need. For I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the very model of a modern major general. I am the walrus. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. For I am... Bat Jesus. Tell me about this ending you really, really want to do. Well, it's always bothered me. At the end, Alfred looks up and he sees something. Then Nolan just gives it away. We actually see Bruce Wayne and Selina together. We don't need that. It should be ambiguous. You know, Alfred looks up. He smiles. What does Alfred see? We hold that shot and the audience just keeps guessing the whole time. You know, it's more powerful that way. You know, I think I like that. So you hold on Alfred, you never actually see if he's seeing Bruce. You right. never see what he's seeing. Exactly. I think that's a good idea. You know what? Let's do this. Yes. Let's make this happen. Yes, thank you. I'm really excited about this. I always wanted to see a more subtle ending to this film. Something that works in here, the brain. This time around, you won't see what Alfred sees with your eyes. Instead, you'll see it with your mind. Okay, and okay, we got the ending right there, buddy. Just oh, the way you want it. Great! Oh, wait, there's dialogue? Oh, it's nothing much. We can cue card it. Just that spontaneity, mind inside, the, the, the stuff you like. But it's still my idea. Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 no, no, it's still your idea. I promise you, you never see what Alfred sees. Okay, well, good. All right, and uh, where's the cue card gonna be? I'm gonna be holding the cue card right over there. Just as soon as I say action, you read right off it. All right, as long as we don't see what Alfred is seeing. I promise you do not see what Alfred is seeing. Good, cool.
Why, Marcel Wayne, I can't believe it's you sitting right there across from me. And with Selena Kyle, who would have thunk it? You two free and together at last. Oh, happy day. Wait. Motherfucker! Yeah, he's right. That was a lot better. All right, now time to edit out his commentary at the end. Motherfucker! I can't believe you! His script was yeah, a yeah. It's so yeah, 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 this yeah. fuck fest of crap! God, you so motherfucker! You just wait, you bitch! I mean, I what the writer's life supposed like to be? This. Shit! Bitch! Fuck! One of the few downsides, of course, to being an online filmmaker is you do have bills to pay. But fortunately, I have my wife's income to help out with that. Which I'm sure a lot of people will find fault with. Actually, this one's a letter. Uh, I do dying to pray. We represent Swede filmmakers everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. We saw it be kind of rewind first. Yada, yada, yada. We will make you pay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it doesn't matter. Well, here. I'm going to show you a little bit more about the perks of filmmaking by showing you all about lighting. Now, these... Great, I forgot to edit the scene. Hold on. <sighs> oh, that crap, I forgot Tacoma's dialogue as Bane. Oh, and the Joker's singing. Well, I'm the Joker now. Now this is a story all about how. Did I rip that off from something? No, no, it's original. that Demo Reel Productions is doing far superior work than anything that's in cinema today. So, leave a comment down below to let us know which film you'd like to see Demo Reel do next. <laughs>